I am prepared to admit mm. that I am in tears over Gaza every morning mm. when I wake up. Papa, Papa, I want to go home. Papa, please take me home. Mm. And the second verse is, Mama, Mama, Daddy, stop breathing. Mama. Who are you Mama. talking about, though? I'm talking about children dying under the rubble. When I take my stand for human rights, mm. I'm not mucking around. I'm serious about it. And I don't care what they throw at me. And we know who I'm talking about. And they are very powerful. Well, who are you talking about? The Israeli lobby, obviously. Well, actually, it's not just the Israeli lobby. It's the war machine as well. It's the war lobby. Well, let me play you a clip. This is from a month ago. It's from your own YouTube channel. Okay. It's called Resist the Genocide. And you said this. And this is all over. Israel is going to have to apologize, not just to the Palestinians, but to the whole of the rest of the world. Say so we're very sorry, we got it all completely wrong, and we are now leaving to go back to Eastern Europe or the United States or wherever we came from and leave these people, the Palestinian people, people whose land this is, so that if they can, we build and live in peace. Well, hang on, you didn't play the rest of it. Okay. But I said, of course, any of you who want to stay will be welcome to stay as citizens of this new state. Mm. The state, to be clear, would be Palestine. My personal opinion is that that would be what it should be called. It was right. called Palestine up to 1948. When you say that all the Israelis should just up seven million of them, well, hang on, should just get up and go. All right, let me have, let me have my say. I am prepared to admit that I am in tears over Gaza every morning when I wake up because I'm only 80 years old. I have never experienced the genocide of a whole people in front of my eyes happening every day. The calumny. Well, you have. The well, with respect, you have. You were born in World War II when there was an actual genocide of Jewish people by the Nazis. I was that big. I was that big. I didn't witness that. You were alive, that. is my point. Well, that's, I wasn't talking about being alive. I'm saying I never witnessed it. You can't witness something. Six million you, Jews were you killed. You cannot by the witness Nazis. something. Well, I'm not saying they weren't. Right. And was that a disgusting, awful crime? Yeah, it was. Just like this one is a disgusting, awful but crime. But my question for There's you. There's no difference. Roger, my... We, the people of the world, whatever the. You're, whatever you're just the, the whole world, do you? God's sake. <laughs> well, come on, Roger. We have a civilized conversation. No, you can't have a civilized conversation with somebody who constantly interrupts. Okay. Nor can you speak unfettered without me correcting some of the things you're saying or challenging you. I was about to say something. Okay. And you're doing it again. My apologies. I accept your apology. Thank you. Please don't do it again, Piers. Right. Most of the people of the world do not want the Israelis to continue in their inexorable course to the end of their extermination of the indigenous people of Palestine. That's all I'm saying. So if you say there are two possible alternatives, a two-state solution, and that's been on the table, let us not forget, certainly since the end of the 67 war. And let's not go back into the old stuff about, oh, well, the Palestinians turned it down. No, they don't. That is a barefaced lie. Well, Arafat did. No, he didn't. That is a barefaced lie. I'm not going to argue the toss with you. I know it is. If you don't know it is, you haven't yet done the read. Well, I have, and I've actually interviewed people like Bill Clinton who were involved in it. <laughs> Bill Clinton? Dear God. Anyway, I won't go You would believe that. Arafat over Clinton? Of course. Really? Yeah. Arafat's dead, sadly. Let's go back to October the 7th, 2023, when the Hamas attacks occurred. Do you condemn what Hamas did? I condemn the killing of civilians, always, whoever does it, wherever it is. I condemn war crimes. I would love to know what happened on October the 7th mm. so that we can all have a proper... Well, the Israelis won't allow we suggested any it might investigation. Be a, we suggested it might be a false flag operation. Well, it, implying it, that Israel created me. it. it, it, it hang on. Maybe false flag's not exactly the right word, but why did well, they... Hang the right on. Word. Can I finish? Yeah, you're wrong. All right, I'm not. Roger. It obviously wasn't a false flag. And the reason we know that is that Hamas broadcast in real time through video to social media what they were doing. There's nothing false flag Listen, about it. I'm not saying that part of the Palestinian resistance movement didn't cross that wire offence into what's called... Well, 2,000 Israel. of them. Hang on. Oh, 2, 000, however many? It doesn't really matter how many it was. I'm not saying they didn't do that. I'm not saying that that didn't happen at all. What I'm saying is, there's all this talk about does Israel have a right to defend itself? Mm. Why didn't Israel defend itself that morning? Why did they wait seven hours before they started machine well, It was a catastrophic failure of, of defence and security. <laughs> And this is the most efficient security Yeah, it's catastrophic. That's why when this is over, All right, you done. don't want to have that conversation, neither do I, but wouldn't it be I just great? answered you what I think. Hang on, I... wouldn't it be great to have that conversation at some... And wouldn't it be great if we could have an actual real investigation beyond the very good Al Jazeera documentary that we all saw that came out and all the great work that the Grey Zone and Electronic Indifferent people did in debunking all the filthy, disgusting lies that the Israelis told after October the 7th. Like what? About burning babies and women being raped, which were all completely... Actually, women were raped. 
No, they won't. Yes, they were. Well, there's no evidence. It's been, it's been established by the you United Nations. You can say anything that you want, but there's no evidence. But actually, there is extensive evidence. There is no the evidence. Sexual assault oh, outright. Well, there is. Okay, well, all right. Now. Also, we know what Hamas Roger, broadcast Roger, on Roger, social media. calm down. Roger, don't sink to this level. All right, I won't. What level? Well, stop shouting. Stop shouting. I can't you as much as you can. Okay. Uh, sorry, Piers, what were you saying? Look, <laughs> let's not prolong the discussion about whether you believe what happened on October the 7th, other than me just to simply ask you. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to look at all the evidence and come to a grown-up conclusion mm. rather than just saying this happened or that happened? I know you believe nonsense that you're told by Zaka and other people who who's made up tons of lies about October Who's Zaka, sorry? Oh, don't be silly. Who is that? Who are you talking about? You are kidding now. I don't know who you're talking about. Zaka, organization collecting bodies, a paramedic. I've never heard of it. <laughs> well, you have no right to be having this conversation at all. What you have to do now, Piers, is go and look through all the documentation that there is and all the video evidence that there is mm. of those paramedic people lying about burned babies mm. and rape and babies in ovens and all the atrocity stories that came out immediately what about after, one? excuse me, I haven't finished, mm. immediately after October the 7th, that gave impetus to the idea somehow that to commit genocide on the people of Gaza would be a reasonable defense mm. against all those atrocities. Do you think Hamas killed anybody that day? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, and they probably killed civilians as well. Well, they then, acts of terrorism. To kill a civilian is a war crime. Act of terror? Well, to use the word terrorism is mm. really dangerous and difficult because you have to remember that people fighting on behalf of uh, Palestine liberation have a legal and moral, what's the word I'm trying to search for? Not just a right. They right have to defend absolute, themselves? No, they have a right to fight back against the oppressor. They don't so have a right somebody, to if somebody invades your country, kicks all your people out of their homes, steals everything and stealing all your land and occupies occupies all your land for 75 years, you have an absolute right to armed resistance not against to war that invader. I'm watching a genocide. I wake up in mm. tears every morning. Yeah, but people Don't might... you understand? Don't you get it? The state of Israel is... How, how to get it into your thick head? Mm. They're committing genocide. Yes. They're killing every single Palestinian. Mm. They're going to kill every Palestinian well, in the West Bank. Their dream, and their leaders have said that, is Eretz Israel. Every single bit of was once Palestine yes, becomes Israel. They're not going to kill every Palestinian. Why? Oh, they're not? No, they're not. Well, they're trying to. Why well, don't they're trying they to stop? kill every member of Hamas. Well, what? <laughs> I personally believe, as I know you do, that I think they have massively, the response has been massively disproportionate. And way too many Palestinian civilians have died. And because the population is half under 18, it is absolutely outrageous now that so many young people have been killed. But that doesn't change the fact that they 364 said, Israeli civilians they said, and other nationalities were killed that they, day. Where's Festival, my camera? And when so, Bono sings a song about them and pays a tribute to them, you attack him. They said to me, you know what he's like. And I said, yeah, I do. What am I like? See, he's like that. All right. This is a complete false equivalence. I'm not the, making a false equivalent. He's interrupting again. Who the, are you talking to? The, I'm talking to the camera. The oppressor, the state of Israel, is committing genocide on a whole people, okay? Some of the people in the prison where the genocide is being committed resisted, resisted the genocide on October the 7th. And some people in Israel were killed and I feel for them and their families. But let's not forget where all this started. It started in May. I believe it was May. It may even have been the 15th of May, 1948 at the Nakba. That's one set of people trying to steal a whole land from another set of people. <laughs>